Welcome, everybody, and happy Halloween from the Kenyan Sports Connection. I am Ryan Gasser, posing as former Major League Baseball player Eddie Goodell, and now we have the head coach of the ladies' soccer team, who I'm not exactly sure what you're supposed to be. A warrior? All right. Warrior well, we, dash. we made her go and get something to make yes. me not look a little, uh, you know, less respectable, <laughs> so she achieved that. But, Coach, thank you for joining us on the Kelly Bryan Show this morning. Uh, our final one of the season, unfortunately, but it, came, it comes on a high note. You're riding a three un, three match unbeaten streak, mm -hmm. and you know one week it's Maggie Smith who put two goals in the net uh, last week. This week it was Becca Romaine who put two goals in the back of the net, put ahead more. Mm -hmm. Maddie Kim is starting to come on strong. Just who is going to be the goal scorer in the season finale on Saturday? I don't know. Hopefully multiple people. I mean, you can <laughs> add Katie Blake to that list. Uh, you know, it's, it's exciting just to see people finding the net, multiple people. It, I kind of jokingly but not completely said to her team after the game against Ohio Wesleyan that it's great to see the fire in a lot of people's eyes, that people want to win and it's about the team. At the same time, people finding their own personal fire. And, uh, you know, Maggie really wanted a goal. And she's gotten kind of gotten used to it now. And that's a good thing for the team. So I have no doubt she's going to keep plugging away. Of course, Becca, you know, she was struggling there for a while and hitting everything but the net posts all over the place. So she obviously was very excited. And, you know, it, I don't know. It could be anyone. It could be one of our defenders. At this point, we just want people to put it in, and it's nice to have that coming together regardless of whether it's our last game or not. All right. Well, you're riding a three-match unbeaten streak. Is there any one thing that's really kind of clicked over this last couple weeks of the season that has led to this kind of uh, ending? Well, knowing that you have a chance to keep fighting for something other than just pride. Um, pride's always really powerful, but we knew going into this last the last three games particularly, the last four actually, going to Wittenberg, that we had to keep winning to stay alive in the hunt. And so it just gave us a little extra kick, and we played phenomenal against Wittenberg, had a great win there. You know, to be honest, the un uh, unbeaten streak is great, but we were a little disappointed that we didn't come away with a win at Hiram. Um, that could have put us into the tournament, so... We were definitely a little disappointed there, but they were a great team, and we played, um, you know, it was a great game back and forth, 30-mile-an-hour wins, which made it kind of entertaining, <laughs> but, uh, you know, we, we had every opportunity to, and it's okay. I mean, we just, um, people just finally decided that we could do it, and um, being healthy and, and having the tools to do it and then actually having it come together, it's just, it was just a timing thing. Was this the kind of team that you actually envisioned taking the pitch at the beginning of the season? Then you insert the injuries and all the other obstacles that you've overcome. Is this kind of the team that you were actually expecting from season start? Absolutely. Um, yeah, the injuries definitely threw us for a loop. I think back to preseason and how excited we were through our practices and our scrimmages and just what we were seeing starting to develop. And it was, even, even despite a few of the losses in the beginning of the season, they were developing. And um, to fight through everything we did and then still come back and finish on such a strong note, I mean, that just speaks volumes about our leadership and the tenacity and perseverance of our players. So, um, you know, we always like to say, well, we could have done this if we had that. You know what, we still almost did it. And um, so, Everyone's very proud of that, and we're going to finish strong. Now, Maggie Smith is a name that we've already mentioned in the show. We've been mentioning her name all year. She, at the beginning of the season, started off strong and then kind of waned away, but now is back. And I think we're seeing now the player that she may be for at least three more years to come. Is she going to be uh, the centerpiece to build around um, to, and to add to Becca's compliment next year? I hope so. Uh, she's capable of it. She she knew she was all along as well, but you know what? Sometimes the adjustment to the college game, everyone adapts at their own pace, and she just had to work through some things, I think, in her own head and just get really comfortable with the people she was playing with. And once that happened, it just started working. And um, there's no reason why she can't keep climbing even higher and, and her expectations of herself and what she can really do. So we're excited about that. She's got a great mentor with Becca and, um, you know, it's fun. We'll, we'll see. Spring will tell us a little bit more, but it's definitely exciting. 
And now I know that you always come into the room wondering what the off-topic topic is going to be. So yep. we'll get right into that. And we're kind of taking a blast into the past for everybody this week. And we want to ask you, what was your favorite moment of your playing career as uh, you were developing as a young soccer player? Gosh, the one I can think of right off the bat is in my college playing career. Um, we made it to the Final Four of the NCAA tournament my sophomore year. And it wasn't just getting to the tournament that was so exciting. It was actually even getting there. We had a brand new coach. No one was expecting anything out of us. We had a goalkeeper who, we didn't have a goalkeeper. It was a field player on our team that tore her ACL and didn't have surgery and played in goal the entire season. She was just that athletic. So um, beating our rival, Methodist College, to get into the tournament, and then we beat them again uh, to go to the Final Four. So it <laughs> There was just a lot of exciting things, just my teammates and everything we went through that year. Um, you know, thinking back to when I was little, little, I can't really go any further than uh, high school. I just remember uh, Worthington, Thomas Worthington High School I'm from Dublin. Um, huge game. We hadn't beaten them I get, in a really long time. And uh, I was playing forward, which was bad for my team. Um, I'm a <laughs> defender. So uh, I, they had to put me up there. We had some injuries. And uh, I'd missed probably 50 shots in, throughout the season, and I finally was able to put one away to, to help our team win. So that was fun, um, you know, to, to get that win that no one was expecting you to get, I guess, in those areas. But, uh, gosh, that's a long time ago. <laughs> now I feel really old. <laughs> Well, that was not the intent. We're just taking a trip down know, memory know, lane, and that will bring it back up to present day, <laughs> if that will make you feel a little bit more sure, comfortable. Sure. Uh, in the final regular season match and, and final match of the season this Saturday against Oberlin, even without playoff implications, what importance does this match carry? Everything. It's a pride thing for us. I know I've mentioned that already. We have a chance to finish fifth in the league if we win, um, and that matters to us, you know, to... Not make it to the top four, again, is a little disappointing, but to know that we were right there and that we can look back and say that we were right in the middle of it uh, to the very end, it matters quite a bit. And it's our senior day, so we get to really celebrate the six seniors on our team that have done so much for this program, and particularly with the challenges this year. They really rose to the occasion. And, um, you know, it's a bittersweet day because we hope to get the win to finish on a really positive note but it's always sad to say goodbye to people that have done so much for your program, but uh, we'll celebrate no matter what. So it's, um, you know, we expect to have a, a really solid performance, play some really good soccer and, and finish well. And to help celebrate not only the seniors, but a victory, what will the keys to victory be against Oberlin on Saturday? Be sharp, minimize our touches. We need to keep the ball moving like we've done in the last several games. Um, just, creating different kinds of scoring opportunities. We don't want to be predictable, and obviously our defense just has done a great job, and we just need to hold strong and make sure that um, we get a lot of different people in the attack. We just need to be aggressive. Well, we're hoping that the weather holds out for you this Saturday against <laughs> yeah. Mavic Field. We certainly aren't going to be getting some good ones today for the trick-or-treat yeah, uh, that's going on in town, but uh, we hope that it is good on Saturday for Senior Day. That is down at Mavic Field. At 1 p.m., the Kenyan ladies will be taking on the Oberlin Young Woman in the season finale uh, on Saturday. So make sure that you get down there and you'll get a soccer doubleheader if you stick around for two. So for Kelly Bryan, the head coach of the ladies' soccer team, the Warrior today <laughs> on Halloween, I am Ryan Gasser of the Kenyan Sports Connection. Happy Halloween, everybody, and hope to see you out there on Saturday.